Ted Cruz was talking about the January 6th insurrection as the anniversary approached and has now passed, and he was accidentally honest for a second with the way that he feels, and he learned very quickly that that was a huge no-no. Here's what he said in particular. Uh, we are approaching a solemn anniversary this week, uh, and it is an anniversary of a violent terrorist attack on the Capitol where we saw the men and women of law enforcement demonstrate incredible courage, incredible bravery, uh, risk their lives uh, to defend the men and women who serve in this capital. Now, if you're wondering why that's controversial, well, he unfortunately made the mistake of saying that the January 6th insurrection was a terrorist attack. And that is a naughty word. You can't use that to talk about the terrorist attack. You have to hold those feelings in, even if you believe it's the truth. Um, so he was lambasted by a lot of right-wingers, and he went on Tucker Carlson's program to beg for forgiveness and basically grovel at his feet. And as you're going to see, not only did Ted Cruz make a fool of himself, but he basically did that for nothing because Tucker Carlson wasn't willing to forgive him because what he did was just that bad. So I guess what I, I mean, there are a lot of dumb people in the Congress. You're not one of them. I think you're smarter than I am. Uh, and you never use words carelessly. Um, and yet you called this a terror attack when by no definition was it a terror attack. That's a lie. You told that lie on purpose. And I'm wondering why you did. Well, Tucker, thank you for having me on. When you aired your episode last night, I, I sent you a text shortly thereafter and said, listen, I'd like to go on because the way I phrased things yesterday, it, it was sloppy and, and it was frankly dumb. And, I don't and buy that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I don't buy that. For, look, I've known you a long time since before you went to the Senate. You were a Supreme Court contender. You take words as seriously as any man who's ever served in the Senate. And every word you repeated that phrase, I do not believe that you used that accidentally. I just don't. It's, so, Tucker, as a result of my sloppy phrasing, it's caused a lot of people to misunderstand what I meant. Let me tell you what, what I meant to say. What I was referring to are, are the limited number of people who engaged in violent attacks against police officers. Now, I think you and I both agree that if you assault a police officer, you should go to jail. That's who I was talking about. And the reason the phrasing was sloppy is I have talked dozens, if not hundreds of times, I've drawn a distinction. I wasn't saying that the thousands of peaceful protesters supporting Donald Trump are somehow terrorists. I wasn't saying the millions of, of, of patriots across the country supporting President Trump are terrorists. And that's what a lot of people have misunderstood well, that well, comment. Wait a I second, focused, but even you, yeah. wait, but hold on. What you just said doesn't make sense. So if somebody assaults a cop, he should be charged and go to jail. I couldn't agree more. Mm -hmm. We have said that for years. But that person's still not a terrorist. How many people have been charged with terrorism on January so listen, 6th? Like, why'd you not, use that word? You're playing into the other side's characterization that, as Joe Kent just explained, allows them to define an entire population as foreign combatants. And you know that. So why'd you do it? So, so Tucker, let me answer you directly. The, the reason I use that word for a decade, I have referred to people who violently assault police officers as terrorists. I've done so over and over and over again. If you look at all the assaults we've seen across the country, I've called that terrorism over and over again. That being said, Tucker, I agree with you. It was a mistake to say that yesterday. And the reason is what you just said which is we've now had a year of Democrats in the media twisting words and trying to say that all of us are terrorists, trying to say you're a terrorist, I'm a terrorist. And so, look, I don't like people who, who assault cops and, and, and I well, stand up and defend cops. And, and the reason I use that word is that's the word I've always used for people that violently attack cops. But in this context, I get why people were angry because we've had a year of the corrupt corporate media and Democrats claiming anyone who, who objected to, to the election fraud. And by the way, remember what was happening during wait, wait, those wait, wait, protests. Wait, can, can I just ask, hold on, you work in the Senate. I just, I guess I just don't believe you. And I mean that with respect because I have such respect for your acuity and your precision. And I've seen it on display. I've covered you as a reporter. I know how you speak. And you have sat there for a year and watched people use language to distort the events of that day. Intentionally, insurrection, coup, and it, of course it terrorism. Was an insurrection. Saying it's an insurrection is a political term. It's a lie. I've repeatedly denounced it. That was almost unbearably cringeworthy. That much cringe is almost too strong. 
I mean, I want Ted Cruz to be embarrassed, don't get me wrong, but that much secondhand embarrassment is almost so much that it could potentially rip a hole in the space-time continuum. So, I mean, when it comes to cringe, there is, you know, really cringe-worthy things, and then there's whatever that was. That was that was bad. That was difficult to watch. Again, even if it is Ted Cruz. Now, what was incredibly apparent is that Ted Cruz was lying through his teeth. He was being incredibly insincere and disingenuous. He wasn't wording it sloppily. He wasn't misspeaking. He said what he thought. He was being honest with himself. And Tucker Carlson saw through it and called him out. And I absolutely loathe Tucker Carlson, but watching these two imbeciles go head to head was really nice to see. Now, why is Ted Cruz doing this? It's very clearly embarrassing. Why do this? Just say we disagree. Well, he's doing this because he wants to run for president again someday. He's admitted this. So you can't have any disagreements whatsoever with Daddy Trump. You have to kiss his ring and go along with 100% of what he says. Otherwise, you're out. Otherwise, Donald Trump will go against you. And Ted Cruz knows that if he wants even a chance at becoming president one day, he has to keep Donald Trump's base satisfied, even if it means embarrassing himself time after time. Now, he demonstrated this further along in the segment where he uh, made sure everyone knows that he is absolutely still unequivocally and unconditionally loyal to Donald Trump. While, while thousands of people were standing up to defend this country on January 6th, at that exact moment, I was standing on the Senate floor objecting to the election results, demanding that we, we, we impanel an election commission to consider evidence of voter fraud. And I brought together 11 senators to join me in supporting getting to the bottom of that. So, of course, it would be ridiculous for me to be saying that the people standing up and protesting to follow the law were somehow terrorists. I was talking about people who commit violence against cops. And you and I both agree, if you commit violence against cops, you should go to jail. Yeah, but you're not a terrorist. You know, you're not. You're a guy who, you know guy who assaults a cop. Okay, so I, that's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a legal difference, as you well know, better than I do, since you were actually in the running for the Supreme Court, and there's a moral difference between a guy... So, but Tucker, you know, the, the, right, the reason I time. use that word is for a decade I've used that word for people that violently assault cops. Right. You already said that, and Tucker Carlson told you that he didn't believe the lie that you were telling. So then you make up a new lie. But he had his talking points, and he couldn't deviate from those talking points. Politicians, they have these talking points, and they will adhere to them as if their lives depended on it, even if it's not working for you. And that's what Ted Cruz did there. But Ted Cruz, I mean, he loves making a fool of himself. He is a masochist in some ways, and I'm not going to kink shame him, but Jesus Christ, there's got to be some limit to somebody's embarrassment. I mean, remember back in 2016, Trump literally insulted his wife's appearance. And what did Ted Cruz do? He subsequently swallowed his pride and kissed Trump's ring like the good little stooge that he is. And after getting cucked by Trump, he's now happily getting cucked by Tucker Carlson. <laughs> Ted Cruz will literally grovel at anyone's feet so long as he expects at least a small political payoff. And it's just, it's disgusting. This is why nobody respects Ted Cruz, because Ted Cruz doesn't even respect Ted Cruz. His own daughter doesn't respect him because she was on TikTok talking shit about him, basically. I got a lot of new followers because of my father. I was thinking I could, like, pros and cons, because some people were asking. I don't know. So some of the good things are we get, like, candy and gifts in the mail, and we also get to travel sometimes. Um, some of the bad things are I literally have to have security following me everywhere. Like, if I want to go on a walk through the neighborhood or, like, to my friend's house or something, I have to have, like, two security guards behind me the entire time. Also, a lot of people judge me based upon him at first glance, but I really disagree with most of his views. <laughs> Imagine being such a smarmy, fascistic, unlikable piece of shit that your own child will go on TikTok, a public platform that you know people will see, and basically say, yeah, I don't agree with, like, anything my dad says. It's so embarrassing. I mean, the level of disrespect people have for Ted Cruz, I would say, you know, a normal person, somebody else, I might feel a little bit of sympathy for them, but not for Ted Cruz, because Ted Cruz doesn't even respect Ted Cruz. Everyone just walks all over him, and he loves it, because he thinks that this is his way to be successful somehow. But, I mean, it's, it's gross. Ted Cruz would literally suck Donald Trump's dick on camera and publish it 
on fucking Fox News if he believed that would give him a small chance at becoming president, being a little bit more popular, a little bit more powerful, just to prove his loyalty. He'd eat out Donald Trump's dirty bussy just to make sure people know he's loyal to Daddy Trump no matter what. It's embarrassing. And this isn't going to be the last time that Ted Cruz embarrasses himself in front of America. He's just, he's, there's, there's something about Ted Cruz that I just can't even explain. He's so gross, so detestable that nobody likes Ted Cruz. Even Republicans like John Boehner don't like Ted Cruz. So I just, I don't know what to say. You'd think that he'd at least try to be more honest more frequently. But when you do, you get blowback and you know, you can't really be honest if you want to make it in the modern GOP. So you have to lie, but he does it in the most smarmy, rehearsed way. It's just... Everybody hates Ted Cruz, and there's a good reason for that. I'd argue that if you like Ted Cruz, there's probably something actually wrong with you, and I'm not being facetious. I mean, literally, like, if you enjoy Ted Cruz's politics and you think he is a good politician and you like him in general, in general and you think that he, like, actually has core beliefs, you're a fucking rube. You are a rube if you believe that. So, I mean, this is so embarrassing, and this is news from, like, late last week, but still, I had to talk about it because I can't not talk about how Ted Cruz is so willing to throw himself under a bus just with the hope that maybe someday it's going to pay off politically. He really wants to be president. And I mean, is it going to pay off? Maybe. I mean, America is stupid enough to elect someone like Ted Cruz, even if they don't like him, but they get scared into thinking that the Democrat that he's running against wants to turn the country Marxist or some dumb shit. So he could win. Like, I'm not going to discount his chances, but Jesus Christ, there's got to be a limit. You've got to have some level of dignity as an adult, as a human being, but he just doesn't have that. He has no spine. He only cares about one thing and one thing only, and that is political power. And it's just so fucking gross. Me, me, me. Yeah, I'm Ted Cruz. Me, me, me. Alpha male, not a beta male.